Hey everyone, welcome back to Pause from Plays Monster Sanctuary. We're in the Sun Palace, so something I wanted to check before we get started here that I've been totally forgetting about. Is that in the Monster Journal, all of the monsters have unique art. Um, I don't think I'll go through all of their bios, but uh, I'll do a quick run through of all the monsters in there are. Are these in order of when we met them? I don't think so, actually. There's the Minotaur. Ah, the Spectre. Now, they are just in a set order. Interesting. Also interesting, too, is the... Uh, you know, their subtitle, like, Beast Mage, and things like that. Oh, there's the, uh, the Aklet. Which is apparently a, perhaps a tameable? That's curious. Is that two-headed snake? Hey, and there's their, uh, our Mori warrior. And the Tanuki. Manticorb. Such a great design. Boy, there are a lot of monsters. Uh, yeah, so the other thing too is that the arm tail has a mount uh, bonus. Now I'm trying to think um, exactly where that segment was that we needed the speed to get through. Was that, um... That wasn't here, was it? Yeah, can we... Can we get there with this? Let's find out. We can, actually. That's a good... Someone had mentioned that. Wow, that's an amazing item. Um, health 500, crit 9. We'll probably actually equip that right now. Well, we want that instead of the defense? Yeah, maybe. See, so yeah, a good call on that. And in general, this is kind of nice. We actually can still double jump with it. Alright, we need water orbs here. Uh, that's ice. Hold on. Alright. Oh, they are on a timer, though. Well, that's gonna be pretty tricky, actually. Maybe the timer resets with each, each one that we open. I think it does. Oh, not quite. You know what? That's not gonna do it. Hold on, let me, let me just do a quick reset of that. Oh, it actually still retains it. That's interesting. In fact, I think it resets the timer. I might be able to use that as a, a bit of a trick to get this going. There we go. Assess this plus three. I think we're using that on uh, a couple characters. Uh, nah, I think we'll leave that on the clip for now. Not really using it. The other benefit here, too, is the orange tail is also just adorable. Hmm, I don't know how we get up there, though. Alright, we got a combat here. Bleed Widow. Two Vasukis. Always good to start with the buffs. Uh, and I think we, we just immediately go into applying some debuffs here. 
Now we do have revive, so if things go particularly poorly, as long as Karn Glow is alive, we can handle that. Handful of burns going out here. It's a pretty small handful though, huh? Oh my. Yeah, that's a lot of damage. Uh, let's get our restore going here. So we will actually get more back to full health and remove that burn. Let's see, I think we want to follow up. Maybe we'll hit an Ice Spears here and then follow up with a Chill. Very nice. I th think... I was gonna say, if we got a crit on any of those, I think we would get a kill. And the poison killed the Blade Widow there, so that was really nice. Just for safety, you never know. Oh, and this should be an easy finish on this turn. A lot of extra damage there. Very nice. That was a five star. And we get the Vasuki Egg. Awesome. Uh, we'll check that real quick. So this is... this is a three tree. Antitoxins. Heal a random debuff from this monster at the beginning of every turn. That's great, actually. A lot of double strike. So this is very focused. This is purely uh, poison and burn. Interesting. Pretty pretty good. It's weak to water, strong against fire. Um, this is an interesting one. I, I could see myself using this. We'll hold off on spending points there for now and um, maybe mess with it a little bit. Alright, so that opened a gate somewhere. But if I... Yeah, it's gonna close that. And I can't... can I get to it from the other side? If I... no. Huh. Oh! Yeah, of course I can get up there that way, but how would I... Hmm. I have to go around. Alright. Let's see, we've got, uh... Ninkinankas here instead. They're strong against magic. Weak to fire and wind. Uh, I think we can run with this. Oh, one of them is a Tanuki. One of these days I'll get one of those. Let's see. So we do fiery stabs. Ice spears. Probably just go with ice spears. And I think we'll just open with a, a shred here. So they all have regen, I believe. Oh, we gotta burn our wolf. Damn, that hits really hard. Uh, I think we get rid of the burn and hope that Amori doesn't get just clobbered this turn. Now we could for sure finish off the snake, I think. Uh, I was hoping it would happen on that attack. It might happen from the bleed. So we might be able to hit a different one here. This is a little risky. No, nope, regen healed too much. That was that was a that was a poor choice. Uh, we're probably gonna lose a Mori here. Uh, 
Nope, we actually we kind of lucked out. I think we still heal Caraglow because we need we need Caraglow to live, basically. All right, we will do. I think maybe we we poison. The Tanuki. Or do we go for a burn? Let's try for a burn and a bleed. No luck on either, actually. Uh, but we should finish off Vasuki here. Get a chill, we'll get some extra damage. Pretty solid. No chills, though. Got pretty lucky on where attacks hit there. It's weak to Earth now, so we'll hit this with a Toxic Slam. Pretty nice. Now the real question is, how do we follow this up? I think we still just do single target. Exploit weaknesses here. That was, that was a nice big hit at the end. That chill. We can finally kind of heal up Emori here. Did get a burn there. Nice. That final hit. Um, and I think at this point, let's go for a crit. Got enough. Nice. Rough combat. Good four star though. A couple level ups. All right. Uh, I think we want to go. Hmm. Can we do that? Doesn't seem correct. Does that actually when we go off screen? Does that uh, maybe because we we went in combat? This doesn't feel like the way you do that. But this is a different room. Hmm. Well, I have one thought. Um, I th think we can do that. I'm not going to spend a ton of time on it because this seems like... This seems like it's not the actual solution, right? Like, this seems like it's the... A cheesy solution. So I don't. Hmm. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so that opens a switch somewhere, right there. And we can do this. Get some almonds. It only opens that one switch, though. Is this the other? Or is the other switch the one behind that gate? I think it's just the one behind that gate. I don't know. That does open it. Okay. Nice. So, I don't know if that was the way we were supposed to do that, but... Crimson Gem. Uh, it certainly got us through it. Three Blade Widows. They're weak to Earth. I only got one Earth monster. I am kind of missing the bus from Vero. a little more crit on the Caraglow if we're gonna utilize Shred like that. So they do- f whoa, that was- that's uh, that's some unpleasant damage. Good god. 
we actually use an item here? We have not actually ever used one of these before. Brutal. Oh, it actually does get a... It still does get a turn. That's really interesting to me, actually. Does not remove bleed, though. Um, yeah, I would have kind of expected that... We would not would have... We would have not gotten a turn there. Um, I think I am just going to finish this one off. We could spread around some poison and, and even out the damage a bit, but I think it's just in our benefit to, to knock one of these out, because they just... They're really strong. Oh, that's right, our, our wolf actually has just a ton of HP. Alright, let's see. I think we'll go Toxic Slam, then finish up me with a big crit. Uh, that one we're gonna leave, and I don't think that will die from the dots, but we'll find out. Close. I think it was worth a shot, unless we lose carry glow here, which we shouldn't. Let's see. Um, might as well go with the ice storm here. Should finish off one of these. We did get the uh, extra chill there. And should finish off this one now. Four star. I actually got a guitar plus three out of that, which is pretty nice. Some wool. Just a quick check for a hidden wall. Yeah, we still don't know what to do with these blocks. Uh, those are a mystery to me still. Oh, this just takes us to the other side here. I guess we would just have to go down below. Um, we'll, we'll fight this though. Yeah, I think we can go with this. I, I feel like I'm, this is not an optimal group, but I like these monsters in this combination. It's tough too, because I feel like I could probably get some benefit out of full utility, but... We also need Toxic Slam and things like that. Maybe not so much on this one. Whirlwind is fine. Slime shot's a little less fine. Slash is pretty hefty damage. We'll probably want to do an ice storm here. I think we'll actually take the opportunity to toxic slam the tanuki here. Um, so if we get an ice storm, we get some chills, that would be ideal. There we go, we got one. Get that extra damage out there. Ooh, whoa, that tackle did a ton of extra hits. Oh my, well, that was terrifying. That's the Vasuki's uh, double strike ability, I'm pretty sure, coming into play there. Now we have a difficult position. I think we go for the heal and follow it up with an ice storm, and the idea is that the ice storm will take out both of these. I think it will. Wow, a lot of crits there. We actually almost got the Tanuki as well. Brutal. I'm, I'm definitely underestimating some of these monsters. It does make me really want to use that Pasuki, though. And we got a five star anyway. Uh, a big bonus again from enemy difficulty, it seems like. 
Hey, we get the Tanuki Egg. We get an achievement of Illusionist for that one. Uh, let's see. Do we have... Anything that activates Earth Orbs? I don't think we actually do. Surprisingly. Oh, yes we do. There we go. A lot of treasures. We get a red gem, blue gem, and a green gem? Yeah. Uh, we don't have anything that activates wind orbs yet, though. Alright, let's hatch our Tanuki. Very cool. We'll take a quick peek at skills there. Leaf Slash. Whirlwind. It has uh, healing abilities, too. It has quite a, a pretty broad variety of abilities. And it does have the Elemental Shift. Oh, Element Weakness becomes the opposite element when it attacks. That's interesting. Uh, I think we want to swap some of these around, too. I think we, we'd want to get Vasuki in here to level up. And maybe not the Tanuki right now. Okay, so that... Hmm. Yeah, those, those platforms are... Very suspicious. But I think we want to just go down to the aqueducts area now. Yeah, we can go with this. Maybe, a, <laughs> maybe play a little more cautious here, but we know we can get through with this combination. Now the real question is... Yeah, I think we still use Shred. I think we use it first so we can then follow up. Uh, I think we try and take out one of these snakes a little faster this time too. To prioritize a bit. Man, the double attacks on that tackle are just absolutely insane. That is incredible how much damage that does from that procs. Really makes me want to use that monster. Uh, I think we do actually go for the heal here. Just to shore up defenses a bit. The real question is, do we go with... I think we try to kill this one. There we go. Look how many double attacks are happening there. That's crazy. The fact that it can happen on every single hit is just wild. What an incredible monster. Uh, yeah, I think we definitely just go for taking out this other one. So it's gonna be a bit of an overkill here, but it, it's gotta go. They're just shredding my party. Still alive. All right, we should be able to finish this this turn, I think. Good stuff. Four star, I got an Azure gem. I do want to wrap this episode up fairly soon. We're going to do some skill point shenanigans here. But I would like to see what is around here. Um, yeah, we'll fight another one of these. Might as well, right? We need the experience.
And again, I think we go for the similar strategy. We really try to take out the, uh, the Vasukis faster. Because they are just deadly. Not a great start. Didn't get a lot of, uh, didn't get a lot of debuffs there. In fact, we got zero. Comes that tackle. Oh man, that extra damage. Holy crap. All right, how do I want to handle this? I think if we do an ice storm, Followed by an ice spears. We can guarantee, yeah, I got a kill on this one. And the next one should be set up to get killed next turn. That's fine. Um, not great. Ooh, okay, I was afraid that was gonna go after our, uh, our wolf there. Let's see, I think we wanna go What happens if we do an ice storm? Will that do enough of the crits? Does not, so let's just finish it off. Not mess around. Wow, that was... Maybe we should've done that first, huh? Fine, can't re-poison the Karaglow. Or at least they don't have stacking poison, so... And this one is weak to fire, I believe? It's unfortunate because we're not really getting an opportunity to use full utility. And I probably could, but I feel like it's just not worth it right now. Especially because we're getting so many buffs from those procs. Only a three star. Yeah, I, I feel like that's probably deserved. So I just want to see what is down here. So what is this kind of underwater area? All right, we'll we'll go through this next time. I feel like we didn't get that far, but a lot of a lot of dangerous monsters. So uh, yeah, so I'll I'll go through our skill points here. Um, we've got some in bottom here first, right? Yeah, so we got one for the monk. We'll probably get double impact. The Tanuki, how do we want to build that? Anti, anti curse seems really good. Shielding leaves. Shielding leaves we know is a pretty strong attack. Imitates. He's the last action used by target ally. That's very interesting. Uh, yeah, so we would probably want to get shielding leaves. We would certainly want mana proc and protector. Gold senses just seems like a good idea. Um, decent amount of buffs sod. The Tanuki also. Hmm. Interesting choices here. Uh, I think we would, we'd probably use Gold Sense. But yeah, do we want to give them buffs here? I mean, probably. Um, hybrid Mastery just seems like a good idea in general. And then 
probably want to up the utility. What is this one here? Variety. Every tank deals 15% increased damage when used for the first time during combat. We want healing shield, I think. I think that's a decent build on that. Uh, Vero, you will get... Maybe heroism. Uh... Yeah. Manticorp, you have a ton of abilities you can get. Proliferate seems like a good idea, and so does Double Impact. For see, this is where I think I think the wolf we just kind of sit on these skill points for now. Um, I don't really care about Ice Spears. Health focus isn't a isn't a bad idea. I mean, Hunt isn't either. Yeah, I don't think any of these are bad abilities, but I feel like for what we're we're doing, we could get these passives, and that wouldn't be a terrible idea. Yeah, we'll we'll get these passives. Uh, Caraglow, you are going to... Healing Link seems like a good idea. Um, honestly, probably Restore 3, and it's really not for removing more debuffs, it's just for... Typically when we're removing debuffs, we also need a good heal happening. Although... Evasion is probably good too. That's a pretty big dodge boost. Let's get that first. Uh, and Mori, you are. Defense proc's probably a good idea. Long slash, also a pretty solid idea. You don't have any area effect attacks right now, although it is physical. Is your crit high enough? 30%? That's pretty high. Uh, you should have defense proc. I think any and all procs are always good. We would want to up your defense, but... Let's see, what would we want here on top of that? I mean, we could give you more defense, which wouldn't be a terrible idea. Might want to get the next rank of fiery stabs. It's kind of our big attack. All right, Vasuki. How would we want to play this? I think we want to get like all of these double strikes. So let's start with that. That just seems really, really strong. Uh, you would probably want slime shot and proliferate. What is this? Poison glands. Well, they can poison enemies when they attack. Uh, is that like multi poison? I don't think so. Actually, I feel like that's a. Um... That is an ability on some monsters. Fire shield is kind of an interesting one further down. Oh, uh, antitoxin seems like a good idea. 
We would probably want you to have the ability to cast regen. If you're going to have fire abilities, you should have good fire abilities. Astra Store is also really good. Yeah, you would want Slime Shot. Sure, we'll take weakness. We want to shore up tackle. Probably because we have to. We need it to get further down here. Uh, and you would probably, for equipment, you would probably use the Cestus, I think. And then uh, maybe like actually the Amori. You should have a defense thing. You also need the mana regen. Maybe you don't need the mana ring. And give you Gauntlet instead. Uh, do we have anything else that gives mana regen right now? Bracelet does. And the tome does. You don't really need a big mana pool as long as a good mana regen. Alright, I think that shores up all our stuff. Boy, that took a long time, huh? And uh, we'll continue next time, so thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, oh yeah, someone mentioned, you know, we shouldn't visit the old lady again, so we'll do that at some point. But yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did click like, helps a bunch. Subscribe for more. I'll see you soon.